Hi friends, we are going to look into the economic concepts of physical capital and human capital. First of all, let's see what's meant by capital. Capital is nothing but the assets or wealth accumulated by an entity. This entity could be an individual, it could be a company or a corporation, or it could be an entire nation. Typically, capital includes tangible assets such as money, gold, foreign exchange reserves, infrastructural assets such as road, rails, energy, uh, utilities, buildings. All these are included under capital. Apart from this, intangible assets like the skills, knowledge of a population, these are also included within capital. Capital is seen within a company. For example, within a company, we see assets such as inventories, machineries, uh, labor, etc. Similarly, the capital of a country consists of assets such as foreign exchange reserve, the banking assets of a country, the governmental reserves, everything is included under capital. Capital is very essential for a country or a company. It is with this capital that the company or the country can invest and go for further production within the company or the country. So more the capital, more will be the development of a country or a company. This is what we should understand. Now let's come to physical capital and human capital. Physical capital, as the name implies, it refers to tangible assets. Tangible assets means the assets that we can physically feel or use. These include money, gold, foreign exchange reserves, banking, capital, infrastructural assets such as uh, energy projects, railroad, all these are included under physical capital. Human capital refers to intangible assets. Intangible means we cannot physically feel these assets. Typically, this includes the human resources, the education, the knowledge, the skills, the work experience, intelligence of a population is included under human capital. Both physical capital and human capital are equally important for holistic economic development for both a company as well as a entire country. If a country has physical capital, but if it doesn't have human capital, it cannot progress properly. It can achieve economic growth, but it cannot achieve proper overall economic development. For example, you can take Gulf countries, for example. These countries are rich in physical capital, but they are very poor in human capital. That is why even though these countries have high per capita income, we cannot classify these countries as developed countries. Superpowers, developed nations like USA, France, Germany, UK, Japan, these countries, they are rich in both physical capital as well as human capital. Developing countries, relatively backward countries like India, we are poor in both physical capital as well as human capital. It is a duty of the country to develop both physical as well as human capital. Both these capitals are complementary in nature. Only with both physical and human capital, a country can achieve holistic economic development. 